Now let's look at the first theme of servant leader, authenticity. A servant leader is an authentic leader who is able to improve individual and the team performance and make both others and himself happy. What are the characteristics of an authentic leader? First of all, he has a high level of self-awareness since he's not afraid of admitting his limitations and open to learn from mistakes. Therefore, it's not uncommon for an authentic leader to have a low score in self-assessment due to his self-awareness. Secondly, an authentic leader develops honest relationships with others based on trust and openness, since he courageously makes himself transparent, including his feelings, opinions, strengths, and weaknesses. Thirdly, an authentic leader has strong ethical values and integrity, and focuses on doing the right thing for the long-term success of the business rather than for himself. The fourth point, an authentic leader takes a whole person holistic approach to develop leadership, which blurs the line between personal and professional, and helps others and himself to develop skills that serve them well in all aspects of life. In the end, an authentic leader has high level of emotional intelligence and mindfulness, meaning that he recognizes and accepts the emotions of both his own and those of others, because he understands that emotional needs are as important as rational needs. To better understand authentic leadership, we can also look at the opposite to authenticity, which are reflected in a leader's behavior. For example, pleasing. The leader needs to please others to feel self-worthy. Passive. He is disengaged and never takes any initiative to improve things. Complying. He values others' opinions above his own in order to avoid conflict. Distant. He stays away from people to project intellectual superiority, which is a way of self-protection. And arrogant. He projects superiority to others to again protect himself. Here are two challenging questions for you to think about authentic leadership in context. One, are you wearing a mask, which indicates a kind of cognitive dissonance? Two, do you know colleagues who are completely different in private life than in workplace? To help develop authentic leadership, a very helpful practice is the practice of mindfulness which is a good way based on solid ethical values for a leader to increase his self-awareness and emotional intelligence, which further helps him to develop honest relationships with others. This practice mainly involves fully focusing on the current moment and observing your thoughts and feelings from a distance without judging them good or bad. It looks simple, but really takes time to excel at.